is not so much my words as the words of the man that I think we all hope very much to see in the White House next year. <laughs> It's very, very good what we do here. It's very good to come together to volunteer resources, to volunteer our talents, and to volunteer and give our cash. This, I believe, is one of the most crucial elections I have witnessed in my lifetime. And mind you, I was born before FDR was elected to the White House. So I have seen a series of elections. This one is critical. And I take great pleasure and pride in being able to imagine different points of view, part of the necessity for a fiction writer is to be able to enter into the minds, hearts, the DNA of characters who are wholly uh, unlike oneself. But as strong and as powerful as I believe my imagination to be, I cannot for the life of me understand the so-called undecided. <laughs> undecided at this time, undecided between these candidates, to me, it's a perennial puzzle. But I am thrilled to be a part of this benefit, which has pulled together the genius and the surfeit of artists who live in this county. I have a personal agenda concerning the election of Barack Obama in addition to a political one, which has to do with um, his book. I've never met him, but I have uh, talked to him on the telephone several times. In the conversation, the first conversation was about our writing, his and mine. And I have to tell you, I didn't bring that up. He did. But I have to also tell you, I was inordinately flattered. So this gathering of artists, in order to support and endorse and provide resources for his uh, triumph by artists connects for me in a very personal way. Because in his platform, and part of his agenda is the inclusion of art in public education for children as a staple of their education, not as a frill, as a true intellectual project, not mere entertainment. Among the things he is convinced that need to be done. That, among many others, is significant for me.